Not me, John, me. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the Piper Car 5. And it's quite a lot Especially when I learned to Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. If only, and I say if only, if only the video was running earlier. Just 15 seconds. Anyway, we now have the branded nucleated glass, courtesy of UK Glassware. Complimentary. Thank you very much, Rick. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Rick. Um, Great glasses. Yeah, what can I say? It's nucleated, it's a pint pot. Even got the branding here as well at the bottom. Not like them dodgy ones that. Um, the team are giving you from our friends at Perfect Draft, you know, the dodgy little little girls. So glasses. when you go, when you're going to promote something, promote it properly. This is UK Glassware are doing the pint pots at the moment. Yep. Top and I have a um, twenty percent discount code, which will be. Oh, there you go. It makes it even better. That's the sort of guy I am. <laughs> and uh, seriously, do not tell Rick this because <laughs> he doesn't know that I'm pushing this one. On him. Okay. You know. So we're going to pour the pint and the infamous. Paddles are here. They're ready. Because I know <laughs> certain people on Facebook are refusing to watch. Quite a few people did watch though, the original. Really amazing, wasn't it, that? Thank you, everyone, for the support. It's good. Anyone who watches our videos, I thank you very, very much. Yeah, me too. That's from the back of my heart. I don't know, I've done all sides of my heart's on. <laughs> that came out on the live yesterday. He hasn't got one, so he doesn't know. <laughs> Just wow. pour the blooming blue. Right, it's in at three degrees. You can argue if you're using a pro, you know, is it better at four or five? I don't know. Um, if anything, I drop down personally. For me, I think she fucking three show degrees. you it. So if you've got the original machine, you're spot on it. Three degrees is fine for this street. Yeah, it's it's a it's a type of. Three... You're not going this street. Yeah, it's, 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 wrong, it? it? it's a proper German head. It's not. German. I don't know. It's a Spanish fake. What is wrong with that? Look, uh, everything I do with this woman, I swear. Whoa, blimey. <laughs> oh, you'd have loved that, wouldn't you? Look at that, look. Look. Absolute perfection. So this is Mahu. I Mahu. think that's Mahu. how you pronounce it. Mahu, yeah. Um, As you can see, in the, in the UK glassware, excellent nu nucleated glass. It is. it is lively, which is how it should be. A very, very well known Spanish lager Pilsner yeah. style lager. That um, does come in at 5.5% in Spain. It is 5.1% and as it appears, UK brewed, which is... Which is a little bit of a bone of contention for me, but I will go into that later. Ooh. So I'm looking at this beer. Do not patronise me by sitting there nodding your head. You're looking at it, man. He's like, yeah. nodding his head like one of those yeah, dogs you're, you're when you get in the car, beer. you know? You know the little things that... He's oh, I get treated head. like a mutt half the time, actually. The dogs get treated better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Right, OK. So Sorry. I'm looking at this. It's a wonderful, wonderful golden coloured um, lager style pills now. There is... You already said that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> there is loads of carbonation coming up there, nice foamy heads. So yeah, obviously the carbonation is helped by the nucleated glass from UK Glassware. So tell me what you smell, Maestro. <laughs> A beer. We've done that one. It's got it's, it's got it's, you've got your sweet malts, you've got your zestiness, but it doesn't smell that much different to any average beer, does it? I'm, I'm going to stick my neck out and say it smells very uh, generic. You got your malts. Um, you don't say. You're going to re make this with you really hard, aren't you? Oh dear! Come on, liven up. What's happening? And there are? is a little bit of citrus. This is take there three, well. by the way. Yep, this is take three. We've done 
take one without the paddles. We've done take two. If I two. do three this with you without <laughs> swatting them around, yeah. around the head, it'll be a miracle. Wow. You look nice today, if I may say. Thank you. But yeah, this is what you would expect from your standard lager you or a piercing the stall. I, I haven't got the um, Stella thing, have I? You know, you need the. Just to be perfection. Okay, you're going first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am going first. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Well, your so, hands have been. <laughs> I'm not even saying a word. Mm. I did that to get a real good taste and really decide. Um, it is paddle time, isn't it? It's. Um, no, it's not paddle time. <laughs> no, it's not paddle time. No, but, I mean, it's paddle time. It's paddle review. <laughs> I've dodged it. For me, it's good. It's, as I said in the, in the in the ones prior to it, it's clean. It's crisp. But that's it. That's as far as it goes. And my honest uh, uh, opinion of this beer, as I said on the live last night. I want to say it. I want you to say it. You've got that <laughs> key word. Once you come out with it, then I'm going to come out with what I need to say. <laughs> no, what it is, right, um, what you've got to remember, right, with these machines, is we've been spoiled, and that doesn't help the cause mm. of this beer. Now, this beer is better than an average beer. <laughs> I'm not with Paul on his opinions. Not all the time. On this one, I'm totally with you. But you have been, you know, you've been sport. You, you go to the How likes of... How many releases have there been this year? This is 17 or 16, I don't know. We did say that go. in the last review. I haven't got the paperwork on me. So, okay, let's cut to the chase. This is a really, really good Pilsen style lager from Spain. But this one isn't... In Spain, it's been. No, but that makes no it's, difference. It's, it's been, been brewed yeah. in England. So still so, unfiltered. That's lovely. Yeah, I know. Don't either. And yeah. I maybe should mark that down because of that. This one is going to get marked down because of that. Because what? Well, because it's brewed say. in England. Yes. Well, of that's course. hypocritical. What does it matter? You drink from Hackney Church Brewing. That's all brewed right next to you. Are you going to mark them down? The no, bro really this, bro not. this brewed in England thing. There's so many people like, oh my god, it's shit. It's brewed in England. That's not always the case. We actually brew and produce some absolute quality beers. Yes, but we still... Um... Brew a load of crap as well. But that's because crap like Madry is what an average UK person wants. An average UK person doesn't own a perfect draft chest. machine. Go on, go on. No, 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 but an average go UK go person, am I right or wrong, does not own a perfect draft machine. People that I meet every day, day in, well, not every day, but... So then you're very lucky. Yeah, you are. We are lucky. We are spoiled. This is the whole point. But, you know... I, I totally agree with him. It's, You're very lucky to have a perfect draft machine and to experience the beers that come out on it because I would say nearly 99.9% .9 of the time the beers that come out on the machine oh, are fantastic. better than anything you'll buy in the supermarket. Yeah. Even if they are supermarket beers, they're still better when they come through that yeah, machine. Nine out of ten times we've done this one before. And this, this is a good beer, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to rock my world like... Jackson did all them years ago, like the Beatles did, you know? It's not This a is hitter. what I was waiting for. It's, so, you know. So, okay. I was thinking to myself, why? Why did they release a summer lager pilsner at this time of year? Why? Well, because it's the time is, that it there is, came about. Well, maybe that's know, just how it happened. Maybe that's just how it happened. But thinking about it, and I have thought about it long and hard, Blimey, there is the rhyme devil. and reason for it. Yeah? Well, go on then. This is the one that she wouldn't tell me because she said, yeah, I'll nick her work before the review. Go on then. I do like this. I do, yeah. It's miles better than what I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, I thought it was going to be... A five or a six with the rating with the panels. I, I really did feel it was going to be so awful that I, I was going to struggle to rate it. But I'm not. I actually like it. It's good. But the reason they've done it now is because it's a, it's a superhero in its own right. Well, it's a great beer. It's, it's Why is it a superhero in its own right? Because it's average. Because of its mirocracy, it's it is so so 
appealable to everybody. Yeah. That is why. Christmas time. Um, everyone has parties at Christmas time. You can't please everyone. Or you can please everyone with this. Yeah. And it's like, the big, the big, the big question is, right? That, that people it's always say. Yeah, that but, but, that is its superpower. Right. That is why it's going to win. The, the big question is, not only does everyone know it, the big question is, would you buy it again? On a hot summer's day, you drink that. Oh, it's going to be it's, lovely in it's the It's 5.1. Summer. It's, you know, you lower the temperature on your pro and bang, that will flow out in the summer. Yeah, we know it's the wrong time. We, we discussed this on the last one. it isn't. One. It's totally the right time. Oh, when people are having parties and you have got to cater for all different tastes, why not have a beer that's so, so average? And just so middle of the road, it's going to appeal to everyone. You'll be a snob. He'll drink it. Who? Where? <laughs> you. Um, I'm afraid I have friends are kind of man, personally. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. You'll but it's be a nice a snob. change. You'll be a snob and will drink it. You'll, the people who go and drink Foster's at the pub, they're going to drink it. Everyone is going to love it. It appeals to everyone. The marketing, the time they brought this out was absolutely perfect. I couldn't work it out until I sat there and thought about it. Well done, perfect jobs. Right, okay. I actually thought it was cool. Right, so, so I am we're going to rate this. On... That's me. Done. It's a solid seven. No, I'm going higher than that. I'm going higher than that because it's a solid I thought seven. this was going to be absolutely awful. I thought I, I was going to rate it a six. I thought I wasn't going to like it at all. It's decent. It's a really good beer. Yeah. And do you know what? For all the perfect draft and everything else, I think they put it out at the right time. I know, you told us. And it's it's an eight. an eight. Right. It's getting an eight for me. I will end this one because this is going on. <laughs> it was meant to be a quick one because we've already done it twice, so this one was meant to go on. But my, my, my enchanting wife wants to get her parts over. So you have it. And Thank you. she's giving it an eight. But no, I would drink it again. Well, we will, wouldn't I? Yeah, definitely. Three quarters of a keg there. Right. Bonjour, people.